Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. We're going to be discussing Mamortica charantia, also known as bitter gourd or bitter melon. And it's relatively unknown in the U.S., although you can usually find it in specialty markets, which is where I find it. We're going to mostly discuss the blood sugar benefits, which is what it's primarily known for. And also, you can find a video that I did where I interviewed a researcher who looked at bitter melon, and that was in my Minneapolis Day 4 video. So this first slide, we're going to look at some of the purported mechanisms of action. What's interesting is it kind of mimics or kind of acts on some of these same uh, systems, mechanisms as some common anti-diabetic medications. Now, the first way we're going to look at is how it increases insulin secretion. And one of the ways is by increasing GLP-1, uh, glucagon-like peptide 1. And this is similar to the way fiber can increase GLP-1 by its interaction with the L cells, which you can learn more about in a collaboration video I did with Dr. Angie as she elegantly explains it. Now another way that it lowers blood sugar is by increasing peripheral glucose uptake, not just in muscle tissue but also in adipose tissue. But it does so without actually increasing body fat. So it makes our adipose tissue more functional. And I've discussed this in my uh, previous video on friendly fat storage and how one of the popular anti-diabetes medications, thiozolidinediones, uh, also increases this friendly fat storage, also known as glyceroneogenesis, okay? thereby reducing insulin resistance. Now, another way that bitter melon lowers blood sugar is by its suppressing intestinal glucose absorption by its inhibition of an enzyme known as alpha-glucosidase. This enzyme breaks down carbohydrates into smaller components. So by inhibiting this enzyme, it slows carbohydrate digestion, thereby reducing the rate of glucose absorption. And as you can see in this very nice schematic by Dr. Jenkins, you can see on the left there's a very slow intestinal absorption rate of glucose and it's more spread out. And you can see the corresponding bell curve, nice even keel of blood sugar response. Whereas on the right, there's more, there's more of a concentrated, rapid absorption rate of glucose and there's a spike that corresponds with that. Now, Bitter melons are also rich in saponins, which is also shown to play a role in lowering glucose uh, through many mechanisms. And I'd also like to say that uh, it's also been shown to reduce gluconeogenesis, or basically liver glucose production, which actually tends to be elevated in diabetes. Now, lastly, it increases uh, AMPK, adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, which, as I've talked about in previous videos, is a fat-burning systemic catabolic sig signaling pathway. Essentially, it's an enzyme. Um, but it also operates in lowering blood sugar by stimulating GLUT4 translocation to the, to the surface to soak up and absorb glucose. In this case, it's been suggested that bitter melon increases AMPK through a different uh, uh, mechanism. It actually operates by the calmodulin-dependent protein kinase, kinase beta. So it operates through that upstream kinase uh, to increase AMPK. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and tune in next time.